Um, we have three exits to go. But first, we have something that needs to be dealt with. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, uh, by fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is like a chain chomp level. Yeah, you clearly can't just hold right. I thought it would be a funny thing for people in the know who would be like, What? He's gonna fight Omega Fennel? And I'm like, ah, gotcha, I'm not actually fighting her. Oh, I've been, I've been tricked. I'd be like, yeah, you have. And they'd be like, oh, dang, you got me. I'd be like, yeah, I know. I got you good. They'd be like, I don't appreciate you getting me like that. And I'd be like, too bad. And then they'd be like, oh, well, it's not very nice. I'd be like, yeah, well, I don't care. I'm actually in a fab food coma right now. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> I ate a lot of food. <laughs> well, even if you, like, don't like anything else in my Discord, everybody likes food. Okay. Hey! So the, uh, the chain chomps follow you. They hop in your general direction. But yeah, the task, like, the task keeps P-speed through this whole level. It's really wild. I Like, they do something like this and then come back and then... I don't even know, it's crazy. And then in the water level, they, like, steal one of the sh early shells you're not supposed to get and do all these, like, frame-perfect swims to be able to keep it through the whole level. No! I have to constantly stay to the right. Or else it hops left. Dude, I can't. I literally can't. No! I hit the thing. That's a re-grab. So in SMW, in SMW, if you're holding the jump button, you fall slower. Holding the jump while falling is a trick known as slope ball. Now, I would like to direct your attention to after. So I'm gonna spin on these Koopas and die. All right, I'm gonna do no re-grab and watch Mario. Not even close. Now, I will hold the jump button immediately after hitting that Koopa. See that? That's a re-grab. Fun fact, they also exist in Mario Maker. A lot of SMW players will tell you they don't, but they do. Mario World holding jump lowers your fall speed. Or I guess velocity. In Mario Maker, holding jump lowers your fall acceleration. So in Mario World, you'll achieve terminal velocity after falling for so long, but you could still just hold jump and you'd start going slower. Then you could let go and you'll speed up, you could hold it, you can keep just changing it. In Mario Maker, once you've achieved terminal velocity falling, holding jump no matter, holding jump no longer affects it. Okay, I don't know this part. I've seen this in the speedrun so many times. It's so weird. They like walk there and then just start running randomly.
Oh shoot. Oh shoot, no! Okay, that's almost the checkpoint. Okay, that's so weird. No, why'd you turn around? Yeah, it is a very bad metric. It's not useless, but it's not a very good metric for success. See Ray William Johnson's subscriber count on YouTube. I'll show you. Alright. Like I said, I know about that, but if you just come and run in here, that thing will kill you. 100%. And it is... not nice. Okay, I know from the speed run you want P-speed here. This chain chomp's bouncing aggressively, but ultimately it's still following me, just like all the others. <laughs> Alright, we, we got past it. Uh, so I have to stay to the right. It's gonna be tough. I only have to be to the right of it at the moment it is on the ground. Like, while it's in the air, it doesn't matter where I am. Oh, uh, they are backwards. No, I've been on this level for seven hours, but the whole game has taken me 40 minutes. Oh shoot. Dude, my regrab I regrabbed so well that I hit the ceiling. What's great is nowadays everybody's recording with smartphones and they like post it to Facebook to show off. So it's like real easy to be like What evidence do you have? Uh let me check your Facebook real quick. Yo, in there. <clears throat> Another exit down. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Black Attack? I would like to warn everybody in the chat now. The next song is a certified banger. Love in the time of Lexa Pro. Okay, so. This level has a unique mechanic. So, you know, in Mario games, you swim, you keep pressing the swim button, you go up more. This one, the only time you can press swim is if you're on the ground. So once I go up, I can't swim again until I'm on the ground. So, but SMW you control your swimming, like I can swim really low like this. I can swim normal. I can swim very high. You actually can hit this message block if you bring a shell. 
Uh, yeah, this is probably the hardest level in the game. Uh, it, it's hard to pick. The next level's not as hard. It's just really long with no checkpoint. It's not a banger in the sense that it's like an upbeat hype song. It's kind of depressing sounding, but it's a good song. Big bounce. Dead. Uh, this might take a while. No. <laughs> it's so annoying. I just want to be like, dude, just swim. It's a water level. Please. Yes. Oh my god. That looks so much easier when other people do it. Make it. Yes. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> the heck. PB, but he like made the whole thing up anyway. That was that's not like the interest. The interesting thing was um, at the beginning. Wow. No, I'm bad. What do I do? not think that was making it. No. <laughs> so hard. I did the hard part! I forgot to hold down, dude! Oh my god, I had it. That was it.
So the second half of the level is a lot different. We'll be holding an item through a lot of the levels, so, um... When you're holding an item, I can swim. Oh, yes, look! I'm doing things! I can swim! Sort of. Okay, so I need to, like, throw that spring between the wall there. Oh, okay, that's progress, though. Oh, shoot. A little progress action here. God, it woke up. I didn't think of that. <sighs> no, that was some good progress, dude. That was really good. I don't... Okay, we have an issue. Um... <clears throat> I need to kill this blue... So the black urchin is a custom one. You can't kill it, but the blue one I can. However, remember the physics. I can't, uh... I think maybe I dropped the shell. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they throw it up. That's very close to the end, by the way. Wow, that was... That was really good for a first attempt. Part's hard. Oh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, I'll get wrecked. Oh. God. Jack who was able to reach it with his like super expensive drone. <laughs> but he flew around it on the camera. <laughs> it was like over two miles away and his drone is he's got a really, really nice drone. don't got this. I needed to not- I needed to be a ascending when I throw it. God. Anyway, personally, obviously not everybody can just- everybody has their own unique situation, but me, if I'm able to, like if I were still not working at home, I would give up things to be able to live closer and have more time. Dude, get out of the way! <laughs> get out of here! You're not supposed to be there. Oh my god, that had to have been, like, so close. 
Okay. All right, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. Get me out of this level. Thank God. <laughs> Ugh. Yes. Dude, that took a third of my play time to beat that level. <laughs> also, yeah, there's a troll there. Um, I know all the trolls in this game. It seems like every level has a troll, which is very rude considering how hard this game is. But thankfully I already know all of them. <laughs> 